everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna, and today we'll be doing my ma May wrap up. Let's get going. So, I thought I did pretty well. I mean, I did read only four books instead of five, but I still almost completed my TV yard. But, with that being said, let's just get going. So, my first book was Silver Link by Kenneth Opel, and we're basically following Shade and, and how we are following through his adventure and how he just basically wants to prove himself on a long dangerous winter migration um, and but eventually because of his pride he gets himself lost but he meets a new friend where he help where she helps out to gain back um, Shane to go back to his colony and, and you know as always along the way he meets some interesting people along the way so I gave this four stars. Um, it is a really nice nostalgic read. I have read this before, so it just kind of gave me like a nostalgic vibe. So I really do like going back to the past to read these books. So it's a really nice childhood memories. Um, I'm, you know, so I like the adventures Shane had went through, but I really thought he was just way too reckless. He gets so many, so many times into danger, and I just had to shake my head and I'm like, "Come on, man! I know you want to prove yourself, but maybe you should just tone it down just a little bit." And you know, so he didn't really learn anything from the owls since something bad happened to him before. I think, um, from what I remember, it was his dad that had something happening with the owls, so he basically didn't learn anything from the history. I guess. Um, and as well when they burn his home, so there's that part. Um, I still think Goth was a pretty good villain doing anything what he wants, but for a children's book, I think it's a little bit gruesome to be honest. Like, especially when Goth is eating, even I have to cringe away because it's just so gruesome and then like, uh, I don't know if I, if I can should read this. It's just so horrible, but um, yeah, so I do like the story and how it had like a nice flow and the writing was good. And I still think it's cool that the narrator only mentioned black, and, like, black, white, and silver for the colors. And I also think like there's a spot in the book, like the echo chamber, when one of the elders in Shane's colony, uh, he was showing, or she, I think it was she, she was showing like the echo chambers and so I thought that was like a really nice um, like a really nice cool thing to show so I really did like that. So this was kind of an oddball so that's the number the number devil by uh, mathematical invention by Hans Magnus and Singbanger. So basically we're following a boy named Robert and every 12 nights like on each of the 12 night he is dreaming about the devil. Who is the number? Who is the number devil? And then devil uh, basically teaches Robert all these kinds of different math equations and so and solutions and all that for each of the twelve night. And but however, because eventually Robert starts to enjoy math because he used to hate math. I hate math too. So eventually Robert even um, starts to like math at the at the end of the book. So, because it was a weird book, I didn't really give any ratings just because I'm not sure on how to uh, make this. So, and, and in all honesty, this was such an exhausting read. <laughs> in all honesty, I'm like, am I done reading this book yet? <laughs> it made me brain so exhausted. So, but it does, like, the story does get repetitive. So, I'm not sure. And also, I'm not sure why the author changed some of the names. Like, the names he changed for prime numbers is prima donnas. So I'm not too sure why he did that because if a child were to read this book and he actually says prima donna instead of prime numbers, he's gonna get laughed at. So I'm not I don't know why the author changed the names. It just doesn't really make sense. So that's kind of a weird part. Um, I also really like the, like, like the dialogue uh, between the devil and Robert. I thought it was a little stale and stiff. But, and like, I really do feel like you really have to understand and reflect 
on the topic since at the end of the day, you can easily read through the book and literally learn nothing at all. So in books like these, you really have to pay attention to what the author is trying to do. So I don't know how to feel about that either. I was just exhausted at the end of the day. And my last, I'm um, otherwise pretend you don't see her by Mary Higgins Clark. Yes, Clark is basically following a lazy Phil who has a new identity named Alice because she is on an, under a witness protection. However, however, uh, before like before all that, she does meet Heather, who signs a deal to sell luxury apartment to Heather. But then Heather gets in a car accident and um, and Lacey's mother. While and, and while Lacey goes to the apartment, to uh, she only got to witness the murder of Isabel at the hands of a of a man who had murdered Heather. And basically, Lacey because of that, Lacey now is also a target, and she goes under cover as a. Uh, as a new identity under a witness protection program. I'm sorry if that sounds confusing, but basically Lacey's being targeted and that's why she is under a witness protection. <laughs> so I gave this 2.5. Um, it wasn't really good. I feel like the mystery was too basic and the suspense wasn't great either. The murderer behind was perfect perfect and it felt like he never had any troubles at all so obviously it won't be him just because the author kind of made it obvious so I wish she had you know just kept it more secretive for the murderer instead of giving it away automatically. Um, I didn't really like Lacey. I found her annoying. I wish we have gotten to see Heather's journal just because it was just so heavily emphasizing throughout the book that we never really did got to see what's inside the journal. So, and honestly, this is so dumb. From being under witness protection, Lacey isn't doing a good job of hiding her locations. She, she literally told her mom, which I understand, her mother was warning her. I understand, but like, you're in a protection program, why would you give up? your location as to where you are. It's supposed to be a secret, so I don't really understand that part, but again, I do understand because it's the mom. She's being really sick as to where Lacey is, so. But at the same time, you're under my protection, so I don't know about that. And so, so yeah, so I think that whole thing was just basically being connected to the murderer. And Lacey honestly looked dumb just by telling where she was, so I didn't really understand that. So, yeah, so I think I don't really have too much to say about this book. Um, other than it was short, easy chapters to read, you can really fly by and finish them. But, um, yeah, so I don't know how to feel about this book. And my last book is The Crime, Tragic Ambitions on Everest by Anatolia Bokiriv. And this is basically telling the stories of the climbers who are attempting to climb Mount Everest. And we have like two commercial expeditions that are being headed headed by expert leaders to attempt to scale like the largest mountain. But then things went terribly wrong. They're just crowded uh, conditions, bad judgment, and a bitter storm that stopped so many climbers from climbing Mount Everest. So this one I kind of gave 3.5 to 4 stars. Uh, I thought it was really cool how Anatoly uh, walked the journey and how he literally described just how hard it was to climb Mount Everest. So I do like that part of the story. Um, but it did start slow, cause so there's that. But I, I still think it was a nice one. Um, and, and as well, this is also another book because I'm not sure on how to review these kind of books. So. It is going to be short just because of that reason, but um, uh, I think, did feel like this book was more technical, though it's more focused on describing of the events and like the climbings turn to chapters. I did like how the author described how challenging and difficult as how I said before, uh, and how the leader had to come up with different options to get to the best result. So there's a lot, there's a lot of challenging 
as well. So, honestly, I still think that Emma is just like the scariest mountain to climb. So, you're literally walking on dead bodies. I, I don't know how to feel about that. So, yeah, I also like how the author is making like a situation to be an impending doom. So, that's a little nice build up. And okay, those are all the books I have read for my main TVL. Let me know what you have read. And now it's just starting right now. It is June 5th. I am on a break of reading. So I am, st as I said before, I'm still going to read a few books here and there. So otherwise, I am fo focusing on my story, my finale of Fire Life. I am excited. It's going to be a long one. So I am excited and I hope everything is going to be okay. So yeah, so please like, comment, and subscribe so that you'll be notified every time I post. And I will see you in my next one. Bye!